Gauteng MEC for Education, Banyaza Lesufi, has once again expressed his stance on Orania, saying it will go. Lesufi was reacting to the Freedom Front Plus manifesto, calling for an end to affirmative action and black economic empowerment. During his party's manifesto launch in Pretoria, the Freedom Front Plus leader, Peter Grunewald, said the party will not tolerate BEE. Uh, here's a tweet that uh, we'll read coming from uh, Panyaza Lesofi. It says, a dream on Freedom Front Plus. Affirmative action will be with us until your ancestors' sins are eradicated. We are also ni bangni, meaning we are not afraid. Oranya will go. You can scream and shout as you wish. Well, to react to this, as well as to discuss Orania's election program, I'm joined by Mr. Joost Stradum, who is the Orania movement head. Mr. Stradum, welcome to the Daytime Update. Good to have you with us today. Perhaps let's start first with the way that Orania participates in elections. In 2016, you were only involved, as in residents of Orania, were only involved in the district municipality votes and not local municipality. Is this the same stance or same position that you'll be following for this year's is the elections and why that choice to participate only in district as, uh, as opposed to local? Yes, thank you for the question. It's a very important question and the reason for that is the fact that Urania functions as a semi-autonomous municipality. We are a uh, unique municipality, the only municipality of our kind in South Africa and the municipality is structured this way since the year 2000, where Urania was acknowledged as a unique uh, uh, municipality. And that means that the people of Urania vote uh, locally in terms of leadership in the town, local representatives, rather than political parties. Let, let, me, let, me, let me ask you this, um, Ms, Ms, uh, sorry, uh, Mr. Stradon, before we go ahead, you said in 2000, Orania was acknowledged as a unique municipality. Tell us about that and who gave it that status and what does that status mean? Yes, that is very, it's a very important question. It is a, uh, remember Orania is existing uh, to, a, to a lot of people's uh, misconception. Orania existed long before apartheid ended. Orania is not a product of the end of apartheid. Orania is a product of Afrikaners already thinking in the 60s, in the 70s, that we need to have our own place rather than to try and rule over the entire country. Now, Orania's municipal status was a de facto reality since 1991. Um, in 2000, the municipal system, uh, for the first time, had a nationwide municipal elections, and those elections, uh, in, in, in the, 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 the process going on to that elections, Orania was um, made part of Timbilisha municipality. But we went to, to the state and said, uh, for nine years now, we have been de facto uh, a municipality on our own. We have provided services to ourselves. We uh, created uh, the town on our own accord. Uh, and we don't want to be part of a neighboring municipality. It's a stretch of a big area. And we want as a partner, we want the right to locally decide over ourselves. That right was then, uh, that manifested in a court case in 2000 about municipal status. That court case um, uh, led to a conclusion where we settled outside of court with the state, and uh, that settlement <coughs> is now uh, one of the important pillars of Urania's existence as a unique municipality. That um, a court or that settlement states that Urania can continue to deliver services to itself, to take responsibility for itself, to build itself, to elect its own local officials, and obviously will not receive a cent from the state. Uh, we do not get any municipal funding, we do not get any uh, municipal budget. What Urania do is everything that we do, we do with our own media labor and with our own money. And um, that has been working very, very well for us. And for that reason, there's also no party politics in Urania's uh, local elections. The so, people of Urania who wants to do as such can vote district or nationally, but locally in terms of our municipality, we vote for individuals that represent the people rather than political parties that represent 
well themselves uh, in the in the project. And that means since 2000, we don't have to take any responsibility for for ourselves. We still pay income tax to the government. We get nothing in terms of a budget or any funding. So we have to do everything ourselves, and we take up that responsibility and build our community. And the people that we see fit and competent to do that is the people that gets elected every five years so, as so, our local. So, Mr. Stradham, let me ask you, you say that you vote for individuals and not aligned to any political party, but you do have the Orania Council. Um, what are the rules that govern the Orania Council and who actually oversees it? The Orania Council is, um, is, is made up out of uh, elected individuals and they, is, uh, they are the, the highest um, form of government, local government in Orania in terms of our municipal powers. Uh, in terms of the bigger picture, Orania is, as I said, a unique uh, municipality. So we stand in relation to other communities as we stand in relation to our neighboring municipalities with which we have a good con uh, uh, relation, with which we liaise. And we also have uh, uh, liaison, the, the relationship with government on a national level. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask you, Mr. Stradlum, we, we literally just have a few minutes. Uh, Deputy, uh, well, former President Jacob Zuma is about to speak, but I really would like to give you this opportunity in 30 seconds if you could answer this. There are calls for Oranya to be abolished, and I also read the tweet from MEC Banyaza Lesufi. What do you make of these calls? Uh, we make of that nothing. Oranya is a reality. It is a cre reality created in good relationship with the rest of South Africa. It is a reality where Africana culture can flourish. Uh, we have good relationship with, with other communities, such as the Koza community in Yemeni. And Urania Farish, of course, is based on cultural concept. And there's no denying that we have that right. It's guaranteed in the Constitution. And for that reason, we see Urania grow more than 10% in population each year. We see our relationship with the rest of the country growing in terms of our right that is qualified in, in, in that section 235 of the Constitution. We see our economic growth. We see all those things. Those are realities. And Urania stand in, in, in that reality, not on, on, uh, on Twitter or anywhere else. Urania stand as reality, but a reality with a hand of friendship and a hand of that goes up and, and other communities, what can be done, and uh, give other communities a recipe for what they can achieve um, on their own accord by taking up responsibility, getting their own communities crime free. Uh, it, 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 our line has been, com uh, our line has been compromised, but let me ask you this, Mr. Stradham. What then is your policy on race? Who is allowed to be part of the Orania Council? Unfortunately, I, I cannot allow you to, to finish with that. Our time is up, uh, but thank you very much nonetheless for your time.